to begin to change. If you are experiencing barrenness, you are unable to give birth to a child. In the name of Jesus Christ, the anointed Savior, may He save you right now from barrenness and may you be, begin to be fruitful and may you begin to multiply, even in Jesus' name. In Genesis, God says that be fruitful and multiply. That was what he told Adam and Eve. Be fruitful and multiply. I command in the name of Jesus Christ that be fruitful and begin to multiply in every area of your life. Whatever you touch, may it be fruitful. Whatever you do, may it multiply even in Jesus' name because of the blessing of the anointing upon your life. May every may every burden on your shoulder be lifted up every burden every burden of barrenness every burden of infertility may it be this may it be removed from your shoulder and may every joke of uh, uh, lack of fruitfulness be broken and destroyed by the anointing that today you begin to progress today you begin to make it whatever you have failed in the past by the anointing of Jesus Christ upon your life right now you begin to make it even in Jesus name your life will be turned around I want you to know that the anointing or the anointed Savior, the anointing in the name Jesus Christ is also saves us from poverty, from poverty into prosperity. When Jesus Christ comes, if you were poor, he brings prosperity. That's what the Bible says that let the poor say, I am rich. Let the poor say, I am rich. God will begin to supply all your needs according to your riches in glory. His, his riches in glory through Christ Jesus. God will supply all your needs according to his riches in glory through Christ Jesus, the anointed Savior. The, anoint, the, the name Jesus Christ also saves us from lack and brings you into abundance. Into abundance, even in Jesus' name. The anointing also brings... Wherever there is conflict, wherever there is troubles, the anointing is able to begin to bring peace. The anointing on you will begin to manifest peace all around you. Wherever there is conflict, wherever there is chaos or in trouble, the anointing of God upon your life is able to break every yoke of conflict and confusion and bring peace, even in Jesus' name. The anointing in the name of Jesus Christ also converts curses into blessing. Wherever, that's why God told Abraham, because now you are blessed, nobody can curse you. And anyone who curses you will be cursed. And anyone who bless you will be blessed. Every curse that has been targeted against you will be converted automatically into blessing because of the anointing upon your life. There will be no divination. No, there will be no enchantment. There will be no curse that will be able to succeed upon your life because of the anointing of Jesus Christ upon your life. Because you are a Christian, anointed one. Wherever there is also confusion, the anointing, Jesus Christ came to save us from confusion and to bring clarity. You will know what to do. You will be directed by the Holy Spirit. The anointed also converts sadness into joy. Death to life. Wherever there is death, the anointing, the resurrection power, the anointing of Jesus Christ is able to bring that which is dead alive remember what jesus christ did for lazarus he was dead for almost four days but when jesus christ showed up because of the anointing that was upon him and because of the anointing upon you anything that is dead in your life any organ that is dead it can come it will come back to life even in jesus name because the name jesus means that the anointed savior today i'm revealing to you that savior savior salvation means that he's saving you from death into life from curse into blessing from poverty into prosperity, from sickness into health, from darkness into light. That is the relevance of salvation. The salvation also brings, wherever there was failure, you will begin to succeed. The Bible makes us to understand that Jabez was a failure in life because he was brought out up in pain. But when he began to pray to God because of the blessing and because of when God revealed himself, that which was a curse on his life became a blessing and he, become, he became very honorable. He, be, he began to succeed. Whatever is a curse or failure in your life today, by the reason of the revelation of the fact that you are a Christian and anointed and that Christ came to save you from failure, today everything that you failed, you begin to succeed in those things even in Jesus' name. Anything that is bad, the, the Bible says that the name of the Lord is a strong tower. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. The name is the name Jesus Christ. Of the Lord Jesus Christ. It's a strong tower. The righteous run into it and they are saved. 
Today, I tell you that if you have received any ba bad news, if you have received any bad news, any bad news from the doctors, any bad news from the lawyers, any bad news from the mortgage company, any bad news from, the, from, from any source, any bad news which is threatening you, which has brought depression, anxiety, fear, any bad news that which has crippled, crippled you and taken any joy out of your life. Today, by the reason of the anointing, the anointing of Jesus Christ can convert every, anoint, uh, every bad news into good news, even in Jesus' name, because the Bible says that, God says that, behold, I am the Lord. The God of all flesh. Behold, I am the Lord. The God of all the God of all flesh. Is there anything too hard for me? Is there anything too hard for me? Behold, I am the Lord, the God of all flesh. Is there anything too hard for me? The situation, the problem, the bad news that you have received, God is able to turn it into a good news because He's able to turn things around and change situations. Because the Bible says that with man it is impossible. With you, the, the news that you've heard, it is impossible tax. It is something you can never do anything about it. You know that it's going to destroy you. You know that it's going to make you sick. You know that there's no way you are going to have a solution to the problem or the depth or the, the problem that is b before you right now. But he says that with man it is impossible. But with God all things are possible. What is impossible with man is possible with God. That which is impossible with man is very much possible with God. So today, in the name of Jesus Christ, the anointed Savior, may he save you from every any bad news that you have received. And may he convert the bad news into good news. And may he change the situation, even in Jesus' name. For the Bible makes us to understand that Jesus Christ was in the same boat with his disciples. And the Bible says that the storms came. And the Bible says that the storms were blowing them left and right. And the water was coming on board. And they didn't know what to do. They thought they were going to die. They were losing heart out of fear. And they thought that they were going to perish. They thought they couldn't handle the situation. And I tell you that it's probably the situation that you are going through right now. You don't know how you are going to uh, come out of it. You think that the situation is going to drown you or the situation is going to cause you to be destroyed or something evil is going to happen to you. But the Bible says Jesus Christ was busy sleeping when the disciples were worrying because he knew what to do. And the Bible says that when Jesus Christ rose, they went to wake Jesus Christ up. He said, Jesus Christ, don't you care that we perish? And Jesus Christ rose up and he says that peace be still. Peace. Be still. Today, in the name of Jesus Christ, I command every turbulent uh, storms and every storms that is raging in your life, every boisterous storms, every boisterous waves that is raging in your life, I command it in the name of Jesus Christ. Let there be peace. In the name of Jesus Christ, let there be peace and let there be stillness even in Jesus' name. That situation, that letter that you have received, God has already cancelled it. God has already solved that problem. Don't be afraid. Don't be dismayed. Don't fret. Don't worry. Don't be depressed. Don't be anxious. Don't be worried. For God has already solved that financial problem. I'm speaking to somebody who is going through financial difficulty right now. And the mortgage companies want to take your house. God says he has solved that problem right now. He's going to give you favor. There's somebody who has heard a bad news about your health. God says that don't worry, he has healed you, even in Jesus' name. There's somebody, your, your child has gone to court and you're afraid that they are going to lock him out, up in the jail. God says that he's going to give that boy a second chance and so he'll be, deliver, he'll be delivered and they'll, you'll go to court and they'll release him, even in Jesus' name. I pray that God will bring peace and stillness in any situation you are experiencing right now because he came. He came, for the Bible says, for this reason, the Son of Man, Jesus Christ, was manifested to destroy the works of the enemy. Anything that the devil wants to destroy in your life, any bad news that is coming your way, I freeze it, I destroy it, I, tell, and I send it back to the senders, even in Jesus' name. I send it back to the senders by the authority that has been vested upon me, even in Jesus' name. I command that bad news to be turned into a good news, and you shall receive a good report in Jesus' name. It is well with you. I say it is well with you. It is well with you and it is well with your family. It is well with your situation because God has turned things around to your favor because today you have heard his word. The anointing of Jesus Christ also saves us from it turns every obstacle into miracles. Anything that is an obstacle, a hindrance to you, God says that he's going to turn that obstacles into miracles. You only need miracles when things don't take their normal course. 
And that's what you are experiencing right now. Things are not going the way they should go. In fact, it's a, it's a mission impossible. You don't know how you are going to settle that bill. You don't know how you are going to come out of that situation. That's why you need a miracle. And God says that in that in the midst of that obstacles, he's going to give you a miracle. You are going to see the mighty hand of God in your life. You've read about the miracles that God did in Egypt by delivering Israel from the hands of of Pharaoh. You've read about how God, Jesus Christ turned water into wine. You have seen how, you have, uh, you, you have read about how God made the lame walk, the dead rise, and he did mighty miracles. But it's your turn. It's your hour. And today is that day for God to also work a miracle in your life. That's why you're a candidate for miracle. Because if everything is taking its normal course, and everything is going on well with your life, you don't need a miracle. You only need a miracle when things become impossible. And you don't know how to solve the problem, how to come out of the difficulties, how to come out of the challenges. That's when you only need the finger of God, the miraculous hand of God in your life. And today God says that you are a candidate of miracle because of the situation you find yourself in. You are bound, you are crippled, you are, you are tired, you, your hands are bound, you don't know how to come out of that situation and God says that it has made you a candidate for miracle in the name of Jesus Christ may God bring you out miraculously out of that situation in Jesus name you are coming out right now in Jesus name God says that because his name is the anointed Savior he's saving somebody right now somebody is being saved he says that that which has been a pain in your life for so long God says that in Jesus name He's turning that pain into gain. You are going to gain. You are going to gain from that pain. That pain is going to turn into a gain. You are going to look back and say, Father, I thank you for letting me go through this. Because out of it, it has made me wiser. It has made me tougher. It has made me stronger. It has elevated me into my high places. It has made me... It has bring honor and glory to me. If I didn't go through this thing, I wouldn't have come there. God says that he's turning your pain, that painful marriage... That painful failure, that painful disappointment is going to turn it into your gain. You are going to gain from that pain. That's your, the word of God for somebody right now. Receive it in Jesus' name. Because God says that but for this reason the Son of Man was manifested to destroy the works of the enemy. And the Bible says that he comes that he may give life and give life much more abundantly. Right now God is relieving, releasing life into many thousands of people right now. Receive your portion. Even in the name of Jesus Christ, the anointed Savior, He is saving us from different, different forms of problems, even in Jesus' name. And, and He says that in the name of Jesus Christ, He is saving us from every reproach, every shame, every disgrace, every delay. God says that He is saving you. And that which is a reproach, a shame, a disgrace, humiliation, embarrassment, delay, rejection, He is turning it. To his glory, he's turning it into beauty, he's turning your ashes into beauty, your sadness into joy right now, even in Jesus' name. Even in the name of Jesus Christ, God says that this is what the salvation also presents to you. Beloved, I want you to know that in the name of Jesus Christ, so much has happened to you right now. May God be with you, and may you know that there is power in the name of Jesus Christ. The anointed savior for the bible says that and i read again isaiah chapter 10 verse 27 for it shall come to pass in that day and it shall come to pass in that day and that is today what god has done for you that the burden will be taken his burden his burden satan's burden will be taken away from your shoulders and his yoke away from your neck because of the anointing in the name of jesus christ may the lord the name of the, our blessed Lord Jesus Christ save you, deliver you, and bring peace, prosperity, long life, good health, righteousness, holiness, purity, decency into your life right now. You are a child of destiny. Don't allow the devil to molest and to bully you. Shalom, peace be with you. Please make sure you join me in the next series as we go deeper into believers' authority. May God bless you. Peace be with you. Bye.